Hi everybody, so that's why Josh didn't invite Drake into his wedding here, and today's album review is going to be El Rain Fatigue, a word that accurately describes the feeling I always got from last summer. So I found this album by an Instagram post by Slossom Alone, and he said it was good, so I checked it out before Pitchfork gave it a score, and wow, this is kind of a soulful singer-songwriter album. Elrain's vocals is probably my favorite part about this album as well as the production. The melody that she creates target the best highlights off of this album, such as Suck Teeth and Two-Face. An ongoing melody on Suck Teeth just gives me a haunting vibe. Definitely gonna hear that in Halloween. And then with Two-Face, it's just this rapid piano instrumental that is just fire all the way through. Add that with the rainy production and El Rain's vocals, and you easily get one of the best songs of the year. You also have your fair share of fun and short interludes that make the album really, really enjoyable. Personally for me, I think the album uses its time more nicely than wisely, if that makes sense. So in a way, this album is really fun, but also determined by its other tracks too, especially the opening tracks. On here too. There's not really a flaw with this album. You could say it does go long for a while on the long parts, but honestly the long parts are like my fair part and there's technically not long parts even. I mean, you know, because the long parts are my favorite and those fair parts of the long parts are the ones I use its time nicely. I mean technically this is like 30 minutes, this is like less than 30 minutes, so so yeah. Once again, really great album. And I think El Rain should be talked to more, especially this year of current artists. You guys should give this a listen. Giving it a flawless 8.5 on this thing. Um, uh, uh, oh fuck, I forgot. Guys, it's not what it, it's not what it, no, I did not copy Pitchfork score. No, it's not what it looks like. Okay, when Slossom Malone made that story post, in that day when he said it was good, was the same day that it gave it 8.5. So so technically, so, so basically Pitchfork are copying me, okay, bug off. That is it, that is it for this review. Uh, more album reviews are coming. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, goodbye.